Hi, I'm Carolyn Lilipali and this is the News at Night. On tonight's show, in our regular Thursday scene feature, we take a look at the work of the War Child Charity. Here this week, we brought you news of the charity art auction called Little Pieces from Big Stars. The event raised over $90,000 for the War Child organization. In today's Thursday scene, we bring you to the exhibition preview to talk to the artists involved and we take a look at the work of the charity which aims to de-traumatize children who have witnessed the horrors of war in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It's a regular weekday night in London. This is a gallery in the rather run-down East End, and these people are all here to support a charity they really believe in. War Child was set up two years ago when two BBC journalists, alarmed by the traumas they had witnessed while filming in the former Yugoslavia, decided to try to help children in war-torn Bosnia. I make documentaries for a living, and I made a documentary film for the BBC Arena programme and it was shot in Croatia and it was the first time I'd ever sort of been involved in, in a war and it had quite an effect on me and particularly what happened to children uh, so when I got back to England uh, the producer and I decided to put on a little fundraising event the idea was we'd just raise some money then go back to making films but the event sort of grew and grew and we were persuaded to become a charity in our own right the organization grew and began to draw heavily on its friends in the media music and entertainment worlds Distributing food, medicine, musical instruments and tapes in Medjugorje, Mostar and Sarajevo, War Child turned its attention to the problem of de-traumatizing children in the region and called on patron Brian Eno to help. The idea for this exhibition came from Brian Eno. Um, he wanted to gather together many of, uh, of the friends and people he's worked with who also have a, uh, you know, an interest in the art world to put this event on. I wrote a very apologetic letter to everybody <laughs> where I said, I know everybody's always asking you to do things, and I'd fully understand if you didn't want to take part, but would you like to? And, and a very large number of people responded positively to it. It was a very generous response. The little pieces from Big Stars exhibition distinguished itself from similar efforts by being able to attract help from the likes of Bono, Paul McCartney, Iggy Pop and David Bowie. I usually shy away from charity things at a public level. But uh, this one, I think, it felt, I mean, I, I don't usually do the performance things. I think Live Aid was one of the few that I did do. But this one seemed a, a really ingenious and new way of doing something that might have a little more comment than the usual charity sing-song affairs, which I don't really feel get the point over too well. But it went a bit crazy. So what I used, I scanned in uh, a charcoal drawing that I did of a minotaur and also scanned in bits of painting from Caspar David Friedrich. And these things were elements that I found in an architectural book. And then by using the computer, I manipulated them all into an, a new piece of work. So it's basically computer collage. For all of the musicians turned artists involved, there were real reasons for agreeing to participate. Just um, an ego trip. <laughs> See, the thing is, I can't draw. I'm the only person on this list of wonderful people who didn't go to art school. No, I can't possibly say. Good art needs no explanation. And, make no mistake, any cynics out there can just get lost. I think the only real criticism you, you can say is, is that um, my picture's crap. The biggest sin in England is to rise above your station. If you're a pop star and you pick up a paintbrush, that's death. It's our responsibility as people, never mind musicians or carpenters or cameramen. We're people, you know, and we're all on this world together. And I think anything you can do to help, if you want to, has to be a good thing. If we can do something positive in any way to help a situation, even if it's only a little bit, then it's better than sitting there and doing nothing and reading the newspaper and saying, oh, what a pity. Funds from the Little Pieces project will go to setting up a therapy centre in Sarajevo and a music school and therapy centre in Mostar. War itself obviously is an experience that children shouldn't experience, uh, but they do out there and something can be done to alleviate that uh, psychological damage. People forget how traumatising it is for, for young people generally, but particularly for children who don't quite understand what shelling means to grow up in somewhere like Mostar or Sarajevo. Um, the idea of using therapy based in the arts 
it's just quite a positive way of trying to deal with it, which is what War Child's stated aim is. Oh, baby. was this message to victims of the conflict in Bosnia-Herzegovina. I'd just like the people in Bosnia to know that we haven't completely forgotten about you and that there is still a consciousness that something is going on there. It hasn't dropped out of the news for us and uh, we hope that things will change for the better there. Hang in there, it's very difficult, we know. And it, it's really not for me to say anything other than peace. You're well, not forgotten. You're not forgotten at all. Keep optimistic, whatever happens. Oh, baby.